Hello everyone, hopefully you're excited about learning uh, Titanium Studio, actually Accelerator uh, Titanium uh, using Titanium Studio and in this video we will be adding a button to our app and uh, using what's called an event listener to do something when the user clicks that button okay so below our variable label which created the new label and above our view.add label over here let's create some space and add our button so var button oops not button button equals ti which is short for titanium dot ui the big ui dot uh not c big c create button and we're going to have a brackets and our uh, curly brackets and inside that we need some uh, settings to do. Uh, the title is going to be basically the what do you call it the text that's that you want to be displayed inside your button so like click me and we want to change the or set the button's uh, height to be uh, let's say 35 and the width to be, I don't know, 100. I'm kind of guessing here based on experience of roughly what, how big buttons could look like. And the top is going to be, I don't know, we set this hello world to be 150, so let's set it to be about 180, like that. And don't forget this uh, semicolon at the end. And then what we're going to do is call, is adding an event listener. Event listener is basically uh it's like when it clicks when the user clicks it do something okay so we have the variable button and we say button dot add event event listener and it's already been displayed over here it's a titanium it's an add event listener for titanium dot ui button listen uh listener list uh, is that right listener all right, and inside uh, brackets, for the first time, we are going to be adding two stuff. Uh, what we, the first one we are going to be adding is called is the name of this event uh, add event listener, which is I don't know, call it click or something, or push. I don't know. My title's click me, so I'm just going to say click, and then we are going to be adding uh, adding a callback. And in this case, I'm going to write function e. Now, I promise you that I'm going to be explaining what the hell function e is uh, in my videos later on. But as for now, please just uh, think that this is like the thing you have to write and just accept it and uh, move on. Because, yeah, basically, I'll uh, explain it in my later on videos. Now, uh, add the curly brackets and inside that we are going to be saying what you want it to do and the most simple one is just like uh, when you're playing around with JavaScript like you can have this alert box popping up and say alert and inside this we are going to write a message you clicked me clicked me like so and uh, curly brackets and the curly brackets and then just like when you wanted to add the label to your view, you want to add the button to your uh, view as well. So over here, let's say add button to view. I keep on forgetting. Is it create? Yeah, create. Oops. Create button. I should use this. Uh, com comments. Uh, something to happen when you click the button like so hopefully that's not a terrible explanation so inside this comment add button to view we're going to say view dot add so we want you view to add this thing in which is inside my brackets which in this case is button because our variable name is button so let's save our work and run our simulator Hopefully this thing isn't going to take too long. The console is like outputting away all these uh, information and it's on my dock. It's loading my iOS simulator and there we go. We have our iOS simulator. 
which actually looks cool. You even have a camera and this nice looking, uh, what do you call it? Refraction? Reflection, yeah. And it's loading and it says application started. So there we go. Oh, there's not much space between because the text itself is about 30 pixels. Oh well. Now let's click this button and we have an alert. It says you clicked me. And just like our any of our alert boxes like in JavaScript we have our text and we have an OK to uh, get rid of it like so and let's click again and we have the alert and by default when you actually click this the surrounded or the background in this case uh, view or the background stuff is going to be uh, shaded so uh, darkened a little bit if I click OK it the yellow goes lighter. This is one of the reasons why I chose yellow as the uh, background color so that it's easier to see that I hope you can see this that it actually like grayed out a little bit. Okay so that's adding buttons. Uh, buttons are really useful it's like when you want to create a calculator you press like the button 9 and then you press the button plus and you press the button 5 and you press the button equals and once you've done that it's going to do some magic 9 plus 5 uh, coding action at the background and it's going to be and it's going to display 14 and so on. So button and alert and also add event listener which is really useful. So in my next video we are going to be actually uh, playing around with console a bit or uh, displaying information onto our console. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.